how to fix video outside the viewport issues in Google Search Console video page indexing reports. Basically, video outside the viewport means this. You have a video on your website, your web page somewhere, and the viewport overflows the main area. So therefore, it provides a bad user experience for your website visitors. That's why Search Console is your website's friend. To be able to fix video outside the viewport, we can press on example URLs to see which videos Search Console is complaining about. On the right hand side, Search Console tells us a sample URL and the video that is having the problem. Most YouTube embeds will actually face this problem. Also, when you're visiting your own landing pages, you need to conduct different tests. Meaning if you're visiting your landing page and looking at it and the video looks okay, it's within the viewport. Viewport is the viewable area. So when video overlaps, then that's no good. That's outside the viewport. But as I've said, if you're using desktop or a laptop, all looks okay, then press on F12 on your keyboard and then analyze the mobile responsiveness of your video. Because when viewed on a mobile device, that's when video can be outside the viewport and to be able to fix it all you need to do is make sure the video is within the viewport now how do you do that there is many different scenarios i'll give you just a couple of examples you can press on the arrow icon hover over the area itself area where the video is generated whether you're using embeds iframes divs and so on once you identify the the area that contains the video then you need to make sure that is responsive in this scenario we've got an iframe so how you can make that responsive can be a challenge let's say something like this let's say max max width let's put that to auto so that's one way you can test in this example it didn't let's then say important that didn't work either and let's say max width what we can do is look at the the web page area in this example it is this let's look at computed value which is 650 pixels so that's one way we can actually do something like that once we identify the maximum pixel area then we can code the iframe max width let's say 610 pixels so now that's within the viewport as we can see okay so that's one way to bring things within the viewport but surely your web page design can be different so i can't show you a particular example but perhaps your web developer can assist you or you can perhaps search google with how to make iframes responsive. I've just shown you max width example here for content area, but surely after that, you need to once again, do your tests and make sure in this example, when it's responsive on a mobile device, that's still outside the viewport. So then I can say width, let's say 
So now that's within the viewport. So that's another example. I'll zoom in so that you see. Max width, according to the content area of your own web page, we can set width to 100%. And let's say height is auto. As we can see now, that's within the viewport and it's responsive as well. Now, if you're embedding YouTube videos, then the width and height of the iframe may be defined. Let's look at what that means. Let's copy the iframe paste it in there okay we've set the different things there so if you're embedding YouTube videos this could actually be of help to you so here we've got the width and height what you can do is actually remove that so let me show you that example simply remove the width and height and then preview your web page let's take a look when I removed it surely that doesn't look right but that may be of a troubleshooting technique for you another thing we can do is we can say width let's say 610 pixel because we know that's the maximum area of the viewport anyway and the height we can then say what if we do 300 pixels let's preview that so that's another example for you and once again that's outside the viewport okay so that's not good so what we can do what if we set that to 100% here and let's set the height to auto so if you're embedding youtube videos let's take a look what happens the second example is responsive so let's preview so that's another troubleshooting method as we can see but the height in this example didn't work height we need to set to let's say 400 pixels let's do that so that's what one can do as we can see that looks much better and it is responsive to a degree i know that's not the best way to fix it but i'm just showing you how you can approach this problem once you identify the content area and how are you generating the video to be displayed all you need to do is make sure it's within the viewport I've shown you max width and width examples, but surely some websites may be different because how you're generating the videos can be different. But that is how you fix video outside the viewport. Identify the con containing area and make sure the video is within, so it's contained and then once you you know update your theme style for example then you can either validate the fix or simply let google recrawl your website because it's going to do that perhaps a week or two after you make the changes the issue won't be shown here for this example we've already fixed it how we used different techniques to embed the youtube videos but that is how you fix video outside the viewport before i close up make sure that your website theme is responsive particularly for 2024 moving forward because all these provide the difference in terms of user experience that's why these page indexing reports are important to fix i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session